Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. And it is a Thursday. I think it's the 14th of the month. I could be way off, but then again, I was never good at dates. Welcome. Thank you for coming to today's live stream on what is a total gold servant and how can we have a greater understanding of it? You know, this morning when I went on to my Facebook page, I saw uh, quite a few posts on uh, a movement uh, within the Love Peace Harmony organization. And it was a, a youth group that wants to bring love and peace and harmony to humanity. And they're bringing visibility to them by focusing on one thing each day. And yesterday they focused on gratitude. Well, gratitude happens to be the G in gold, G-O-L-D. What is a total gold, unconditional, universal servant? So each of those letters actually stands for something, and that's what we're going to learn today. I'm going to start with gratitude. So I hope that you're going to stick around. Uh, today's live stream is for those that have a heart and a desire to make a difference, to make a difference in their life, in their family's life, and in this world, because we are definitely spiritual beings, and we are here for a reason we are a soul having a physical experience and the reason for being is here is not to suffer and there is actually a fast path out of that and it is through unconditional universal service but it's actually a very foreign subject it's not one that is talked about that much and today we're going to go down that road <clears throat> and hopefully maintain and grow the base of people that want to be unconditional universal servants and have a greater understanding of it because it doesn't mean you're going to give up your life or that you're going to um, not have a life. It means changing your perspective. So we're going to talk quite a bit more about that today. I invite you to stick around. So let's see who we have joining us today. Welcome Jennifer. Aloha. Welcome Tracy Lee and Aloha Shirley Schuster. Welcome NNC and Aloha Kristen Rojas. Thank you for your service. Aloha Jose. Welcome Julia Lawrence. And uh, welcome M. A. Drade. Welcome D. D. Effinger. Aloha. And welcome also to uh, Vilas Sab Sabanjani. Sabjani. Welcome also to Kathy Arnold and Karina. Aloha. And hey Jess, good to see you. Welcome Jagdeep. Welcome also to Athena and Shelley Wilburn. Good to see you. Aloha Crane. Aloha also to Ferdy Cruz. And welcome to Trina Carlson. Edna Sneed, welcome. Welcome Janice Crosby. If I've missed anybody, forgive me. And welcome Shaylee Stone. <coughs> and so today is Thursday. It's the last day in the week that I do these live streams. Uh, we were very blessed for those that were not here earlier in the week. My spiritual teacher, Master Shah, uh, was doing a book release for a book that's called The Greatest Love, Da I. There's a special gold-colored calligraphy on the cover. And this book um, carries tremendous, tremendous power. Just a little, you know, three by four inch book, but it carries great power. So I hope that you get it and go back to my recording on that. Because what I in essence did was just, I just went through Zoom and went to the, the live stream recording and transferred it over to Facebook and we just watched him live. But uh, always great blessings to be uh, with my teacher, Master Shah, as he carries great power. So welcome also to Kristen Strachan. And Vanessa, thanks for joining. Got a lot of people coming in today. So today is a subject matter uh, referred to as gold, G O. L D. What is total gold and how can you have more of it in your life? It's not a subject matter that I've talked about uh, individually. I've talked about the pieces of it in various live streams, but I haven't put it all together in one live stream. And G O L D, total gold, stands for gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion. Now, for some people, that will make their hair stand on their head. What do you mean obedience? That, that always makes people raise an eyebrow. Loyalty, devotion. Uh, these four 
characteristics, these four qualities, are relative to our alignment to source. And that's what we're going to be talking about today as we move forward. So, got a lot of folks joining us today. Welcome, Kathy. Welcome, Rautrud. Welcome, Heather. And uh, Richard Shoop Shooping. Thanks for joining. <clears throat> so, we're going to go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We do that uh, the same each and every time by placing our hands in a hand mudra position, the soul light, soul service hand position. We drop, just like a prayer, we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, leave the right hand pointed towards heaven. And then I will lead us in a mantra, a soul song, that will connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and prepare the frequencies for today's wisdom teachings and blessings. All right? So close your eyes and prepare to receive. For all those that are new, uh, this is a blessing, so you can make a request. <coughs> Dear our beloved Divine Creator, all beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, I love you, I honor you, respect you, we thank you for your presence here on earth and everywhere. We ask most humbly and most sincerely for your presence today. Come to sit in each of our heart centers as appropriate. Bless us to more fully awaken and develop our alignment to Source. Bless us to more fully develop our total gold, unconditional universal service. Bless us to release negative thinking, processes, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs. Bless us to release ego and attachments, jealousy, greed, corruption, and more, so that we better comprehend the necessity and value of being of service. As appropriate, we invite our individual Heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. We invite beloved Jesus, Mother Mary. We invite beloved Buddha, beloved Kuan Yin, all the great beings of light. We invite you to join us today as appropriate. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, we love you, we honor you, we appreciate you. We invite you to please come at this time. And as we chant love, peace, and harmony, we invite all souls and all universes to join with us to offer this unconditional service. So again, for those new just joining, this mantra is a blessing. Close your eyes and receive. Everyone else, you're welcome to offer this service at this time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I run ran lay. One ling rung her musher shung. Shung I ping on her she. Shung I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Kind of wanted to keep going, but don't want to sing too much. So welcome also to Pat. Aloha, Richard Amodio. Welcome, Diana. And welcome also, Ludzia and Rihanna Ree. <clears throat> welcome also to Lily Rub. If I missed your name, forgive me. Double blessings for those. And yes, Shirley, welcome. So thank you all for joining. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you also for hitting the share button, letting other people know about these live streams. It could make a significant difference in our life. You just never know. That's one thing that's honestly, truly surprised me 
is um, in this year that I've been doing these live streams, how many people it touches. I'm shocked because, you know, 30 to 45 people come in live, but apparently there's hundreds and hundreds that it touches that I never know about until six or eight months later when I get an email from them or something uh, and they remind me of the value. That same service can be offered when you share this on somebody's timeline. You never know how this message can impact their life. So thank you for that service. So that is a good example of unconditional service. The title to today is What is Total Gold Unconditional Universal Service? And this was uh, uh, brought to us through the teacher, Master Shah. Welcome also to Hector Vallat. Welcome to uh, Johnny and welcome Aloha Silver. Welcome Julia Leeper. Welcome also Anne Marie and Carol Waddell. Um, total gold. Gold stands for gratitude. The O in gold stands for obedience. The L stands for loyalty. And the D stands for devotion. Gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion. To who? Because the question is, what is a total gold servant? Total gold is gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion to your divine source creator. Not to the church, not to the parents, not to the husband or wife, to your source creator first. And the simple reason why is because that is, that is where our nectar comes from. That's where our source energy comes from. That's where our blessings come from. That's where all the virtue is derived from. Every part that makes us up is from source. So it stands to reason that gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion to the Creator would bring about the greatest results. Now, there's a, 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 an entire book full of views on how do you provide gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion to a Source Creator. Uh, so I will share with you some of the things that my teacher, Master Shah, brings because he's the one that brought this wisdom through his books. And his books are flowed material, meaning he doesn't write them. He receives them and speaks them out. And then he has someone type out their words. And I have stated this before, but for the new people, when you hear these words, and I'll read them exactly as they're stated, these are words from a, a man who is Chinese, and his second language is English, and his English is not that great. And so when sometimes he reads his own books, he actually has to ask the other students, what does that word mean? And yet the, these words came through him. So when I say he flowed the books, that's what I mean. So these are very important. Uh, Master Shah, for those who are unfamiliar, is a universal servant dedicated to serve humanity. Let's see what he has to say. This is on page 116 of the book called The Power of Soul. <clears throat> and... Uh, the title is How to Develop Soul Intelligence, Wisdom, and Knowledge. Ah, I like that. How to Develop Soul Intelligence, Wisdom, and Knowledge. And the first thing he says is to be a total gold servant. This is one of the keys to develop soul intelligence, wisdom, and knowledge. He says to develop soul intelligence, there is only one vital, one sentence secret. Serve humanity and all souls. If you serve humanity and all souls, you develop soul intelligence. What can one do with soul intelligence? Well, they can understand the nature of reality. They can understand the nature of the purpose of life. They can process through the suffering that we're in with far greater intelligence and awareness. The divine serves. The divine, our creator, serves. Every saint serves. Every spiritual father and mother serves. Every human being serves. Every soul serves. There is different layers of service. Serve little, serve more, or serve unconditionally. Different layers of service bring different results. Serve a little, gain a little soul intelligence and power. Serve more, gain a little more soul intelligence and power. Serve unconditionally to humanity and all souls, you could gain unlimited soul intelligence and power. What does power mean? Power is not what we know about in the physical world. Soul power is like, like, like Jesus power. 
the ability to bring healing. Jesus never takes credit for the blessings. He always gives credit to the divine. He is a vessel through which it occurred. This beloved soul behind us, Quan Yin, she doesn't take credit for the miracle blessings associated with her in the eastern part of the philosophies in the eastern part of the world. She gives credit to the Creator. So power is the ability to allow divine to go through us to serve others. Uh, what is unconditional service to humanity and all souls? It is to remove all selfishness, ego attachments, negative mindsets, and emotions. Your total heart and soul are dedicated to creating love, peace, and harmony for others, humanity, and all souls. Heaven is most fair. You are serving heaven is watching. You are serving, heaven is recording it. When you are serving, heaven is rewarding you. When you are serving, heaven is charging you with heaven's light, liquid, and nutrients to boost your energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. When you are serving, heaven is healing your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. That sounds pretty good, huh? This is, again, it's from the Power of Soul book. This is a foundational book on all things soul. Highly recommend it. When you are serving, heaven is preventing sickness in all your bodies. When you are serving, heaven is rejuvenating and prolonging your life. When you are serving, heaven is transforming every aspect of your life, including relationships and finances. How many people, oh, I can't find anyone to love. No one loves me. I'm not lovable. All my relationships suck. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. You could sit there and whine to everybody for as long as you'd like. The message is serve others unconditionally. Offer your greatest love. What do you think the wisdom is? This is soul wisdom. When you serve others unconditionally with love, what do you think comes to you? Love. What do you think solves the relationship problems? Love. You have to give unconditionally. Naturally, it starts to clear the blockages. The virtue comes. Heaven records it. Service is the solution. But we're all stuck in our dramas and our stuff. And so we fail to move forward in what is going to make the biggest difference in our lives. This certainly is an across the board statement, but it's wisdom that can be absorbed by each of us in our own way. When you are serving, heaven is purifying your soul, heart, mind, and body. Yesterday's teaching was on purification. When you are serving, heaven is increasing your soul intelligence, wisdom, and knowledge. When you are serving, heaven is transferring soul power and abilities to you to offer higher lesson, blessings and service. Most important, when you are serving, heaven is uplifting your soul standing. Ah, soul standing, what is that? Every soul has a soul standing. And it's measured by layers of enlightenment, if you will. Master Shah goes into great detail and depth in this book. I highly recommend it. Again, it's called power of soul. Um, so to uplift your soul standing is to reach soul enlightenment. There are different layers of soul enlightenment, but the key is to serve others. In order to increase your soul intelligence, wisdom, and knowledge, I will now reveal two major soul secrets for humanity. The soul has knowledge and wisdom from all lifetimes. The soul has a brain. It carries with it intelligence from all lifetimes. These are the secrets. And so when we employ gold, total gold, gratitude, obedience, loyalty, devotion, we can make a significant difference in our life by the side effect, uh, as a side effect of making a difference in other people's lives. So let's talk about these one by one. Gold, total gold, gratitude, obedience, loyalty, devotion. What is gratitude? I would like to see your comments. Three things you are grateful for. I want to see a lot of comments fly through here. Everybody, you can read each other's comments also. Be grateful for other people. 
a lot of us, we get stuck in our negativities. How can we be of service to other when we're stuck in our negativities? If we can simply find some things to be grateful for, we could have enough energy to go out of our way to help somebody else who is more likely in a far uh, more unpleasant place than us. So gratitude is often a fuel that allows us to be a better unconditional universal servant just by recognizing what we can be grateful for. When I asked this question to myself this morning, actually the first answer that I came up with is, I am grateful that I have this form of communication through Facebook live stream that I can serve you. Because I knew that I would bring this up when I was posting on Facebook this morning. This is what I was going to talk about. So I asked myself, well, what are my three things to be grateful for? My first one, I'm grateful that I can communicate these wisdoms to you and possibly make a difference in your life. Second thing I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for the way my life has gotten better and better and better as a result of applying the wisdom and teachings that my teacher, Master Shah, has brought to this world. I applied what he suggested and my life truly has gotten better and better and better. Now, there are definitely those watching right now that have followed this wisdom, this teachings, and they would, would, would say, well, my life hasn't gotten better and better. It's gotten worse and worse. And it's probably a truth in their mind. Doesn't mean it's true, but it's probably a truth in their mind. And what does that mean? That means that if they are doing those things that are suggested and their life hasn't gotten better, that they have quite a bit of spiritual debt that needs to be worked off. Possibly it's ancestral, but it's enough unpleasantness that has been propagated over the course of time that it has brought such an unpleasantness in this life experience that it still feels like all of the service hasn't made a difference. There are those that are watching right now that have significant health issues and they want to be a value to humanity. They want to be here so that they can make a difference, but their health issues are just overwhelming. You have to understand that it doesn't mean that that service isn't recognized by humanity. Every time in the midst of your very unpleasant health condition, you go to serve others, you chant unconditionally from your bed to serve others, heaven records that. Heaven starts wiping away with a big eraser all of the negative marks that have brought you the present unconditional conditions. I brought up uh, in the purification communication yesterday on my live stream that some people will sit at home and they'll try to manifest a million dollars. Please bless me with a million dollars. I'm visualizing and I'm seeing it. it's going to come. It's going to come. Well, no, it probably won't. Why? Because there's variables. Have you been a gratitude? Have you been full of gratitude? Have you been obedient to the divine? Have you been loyal? Have you been devoted? And have you been unconditional in your service? Do you do the necessary real world things to bring about better results? Somebody who is unhealthy, they need to do real world things uh, like take herbs or get a uh, 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 some form of physical world, energy world blessings to help clear those things as well as the services. If money is tight, do things to increase those monies. But we have to go out and do the uncomfortable sometimes to cause the shift. Obedience. I'm going to read your gratitude remarks just a moment. Okay. So welcome Jess. Welcome also Cynthia. Uh, welcome Sam Dunham. Uh, welcome Nellis. Aloha. Aloha. <clears throat> welcome Jessica and Deborah. Welcome Andy. Okay. And Didi says grateful for the grandkids and mom, uh, Kate, family life and home. Julia, she's grateful for freedom, safety, and that she sold her house. Yay. Jessica's grateful for health, family, and modern conveniences. Kathy's so grateful for uh, Master Paul and his precious teachings. I give my gratitude to Master Shah. That's my third gratitude. Uh, Shirley says she's grateful that she is. And Harnack, welcome Harnack. Welcome also to Connie Hayes. Grateful for her guardians, her world, and the love in her heart. Beautiful. Uh, welcome also to Deborah Allen. Jennifer's grateful for her children. Tina, alignment, inspiration, and clarity. And also Andy's grateful for healthy children, decent job, home office picking up, and more. So, a lot of comments. Can't stop and read them all. But 
thank you for sharing. Very important to be in that place of gratitude. I have offered an entire live stream on that subject. Obedience. Now what I want to do for the subject of obedience, I want to offer a divine flow. I'm going to connect with heaven. I'm going to ask heaven because this is not about obedience to a human being. It's not about obedience to the church or obedience to a master or obedience to a deity. This is about obedience to your source creator and what exactly it means. So I'm going to ask instead of trying to figure it out and see what, what information comes through. Okay. My dear children, this is your beloved divine. I love you all unconditionally with the entirety of my heart. My heart is not limited to what you know. It encompasses the all and entirety of creation. I do not ask obedience ever. I give you my free will. What then is the obedience for? It is to the understanding and the spiritual truth of the oneness that I am, that you are, that we are all of. When you ignore the brother on the street, when you judge the sister at work, when you complain, when you gossip, you are out of alignment with the obedience of the laws of the universe. The laws of the universe are quite simple. Separation is separation from oneness. The yin yang world as it has been termed was created as a result of separation from oneness. Obedience is the recognition of what causes that separation. When you offer thoughts, words, and actions in obedience to the law of unconditional universal service, you are in essence aligned fully and completely to my soul, my original nature, your original nature. So when you hear the word obedience, think not with your mind, think instead with your heart, the heart of your soul. Know that it is the obedience to the original oneness that I, that you, and that we are all one of. I am honored to deliver this message on this day through this one. This is your beloved divine. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bow my head to beloved divine. Thank you for borrowing my mouth. I certainly could make up those words. Thank you, divine. So that is obedience. Aligning ourselves to original source, separating from selfishness in essence. What is the L? Loyalty. Loyalty. Loyalty to what? Loyalty to the alignment of your path. Loyalty to your soul and its journey. Loyalty to what will serve the greatest and highest service. So um, there are many who are watching who have very um, specific belief systems. And if your loyalty to those belief systems bring about service to others, bring about value to other people's lives, then by all means maintain that loyalty. If 
that loyalty to that belief system uh, reflects separation, reflects judgment or criticism, if it reflects something that is not in alignment with service, not in alignment with oneness, then my encouragement would be to take a closer look. Is, is it serving you on your soul journey? Okay, because every belief system has its values and some of them have some negatives. And if it's not moving you forward, if it's not bringing about oneness in your life and in other people's lives, then it may be a very wise choice to look a little closer at some of the um, potential negatives and see if they can be improved upon. Devotion, devotion to the divine. What does that look like? It has been said by all the great masters, all the great teachings, look not outside for the divine, look inside. When we take the time to be in gratitude for all that we have, to be obedient in oneness, in our unconditional service, to be loyal to our soul in its journey, to be loyal to our Creator, and to be devoted on this path of the soul journey, which is not an easy path. We have the greatest propensity of success in this life. Devotion to our soul journey, devotion to doing what is right, even if it loses friends, even if it means um, others judge us or are critical of us, which does happen, if we are devoted to the, to the path that walks the highest road, it will always serve us better. And sometimes it's not so easy. Again, we look at the great masters. Jesus took a very difficult path. He was devoted to the divine. He was devoted to delivering the message of love and peace and harmony. He was devoted to bringing it even when others went against him and he never changed his perspective. Not an easy path because a lot of us want to be recognized. A lot of us want to be validated, appreciated. Uh, we, we do things to be loved, to be accepted, to be seen. And yet sometimes the better choice is to be devoted to the path of the soul, the path of light, the path of oneness. Uh, and that means that our parents, our peers, our friends, could shun us and say, oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right thing because I believe this and my belief is more important than yours. And so therefore they start positioning against and start judging. It puts those that are on the significant soul growth journey, the devoted soul growth journey, in a very difficult position sometimes. And part of that difficult position is having compassion for them being obedient to your soul's journey and oneness, being loyal and devoted to your soul journey and oneness, being grateful that this path is available to you, even if it's a hard path. And if those around you uh, do not understand that devoted path, it does not mean that you or that they are wrong. It just means that they don't understand. It does not give you the right to judge or criticize them any more than it does give them the right to judge or criticize you. Most importantly, it's an opportunity to be compassionate, loving, and honoring of where they are at in their soul journey. Because you are where you're at in yours, they are where they are in theirs, but if we move into any form of judgment, criticism, defensiveness of our posturing, our position, our beliefs, Defensiveness is, is certainly no better than, than a judgment or a criticism that comes from them. So when we are devoted and loyal to our path, we must always be honorable of other people's perspectives as well. We simply don't let them drudge on ours. We can say, I honor you. I thank you for your perspective and opinion. I recognize that you want to shower me with it because you are concerned or worried. You love me. You care about me. And I want to honor that as well. I wish you to know that I trust my soul. I trust my guidance. I trust my divine. I trust that this is the best path for me and that what you know in your world is the best path for you. And we can both move forward in love and peace and harmony. When you acknowledge it in that way, 
there's very little resistance for them to butt up against. Therefore, the, uh, the ability for you to maintain your total gold path is much easier to accomplish and you will not find yourself being ostracized by those that are close to you, family, loved ones, workers, co-workers, friends, and family. You might hang out with them a little bit less because they're stuck in the world of drinking or poker or, or whatever it is they're stuck in. Okay, and that's okay. You can, but if your friend calls you and they want to talk about those things, be there for them in the way that you were, but be there for you in the way you need to be. So being a total gold, unconditional universal servant is a choice to follow your soul journey. The path is through unconditional universal service. Now, Master Shah has brought to us, to humanity, Jesus has brought to humanity, Buddha has brought to humanity many ways to accomplish that. In the country of Bhutan, the entire country uh, is dedicated to serving others. Think about that. An entire country. Now, they study a philosophy known as Buddhism, uh, but they're chanting. When they chant, when they go to, to their monasteries, they chant to serve others. That is a mindset of unconditional universal servants. They are a good model through which all humanity could and should follow. There are many that go the exact opposite direction. Their gross national product is happiness. Gross national happiness is their, their product by which they measure the success of their country. I use them as an example so that we recognize that the Buddha and countries and Jesus and all of these different forms of unconditional universal service that, that have pr brought models to us, we can utilize in our life. Master Shah brings the model of love, peace and harmony, soul song as a form of unconditional universal service. Many of you uh, that have watched for all this time know about that. Some of you are new watching for the first time. <clears throat> and so what we will do is we're going to serve right now and I'm going to teach you how you can bring healing to yourself while serving others. Okay, this is a form of total gold unconditional universal service. And so how we're going to do this is we're going to chant love, peace and harmony to serve others. And I'm going to ask you to choose something in your life. If you're new specifically, choose something that is a physical pain or suffering, something that is measurable, headache, toothache, stomach ache, a sore knee, uh, whatever it might be, okay? Uh, if you are already been watching, choose something a bit bigger, okay? If you're depressed, choose that you will chant for others. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna chant love, peace, and harmony, and we're gonna serve others with that same condition. And I recommend you remember this one because all of us that are watching have one or two major roadblocks in our life. That's what you should be chanting to serve others with unconditionally, not thinking about yourself at all. Heaven's watching you. They know exactly when you're chanting in an unconditional manner. You could truly be chanting to assist others to break out of that place of depression, to break out of that constant 30 year back pain. You can be chanting to serve others unconditionally. And as you do, there is a natural return of virtue that over time will assist you with rising up and out of your major blockage. It is a universal law. It is the law of obedience. It follows the natural path. And so when we serve the oneness, then as a natural side effect, we elevate. All right, so choose first the area in your life that you'd wish to chant for, and then I'll lead you through a quick uh, soul guidance and then a quick forgiveness practice, and we will chant love, peace, and harmony. Kristen has been a great universal servant. She will post the uh, love, peace, harmony soul song for those that are new, so you can chant along with us. And by the way, it is in 43 languages. You can go to lovepeaceharmony.org to download it and chant it in your own language if you'd like. <clears throat> okay, so let us place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position like a prayer. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center and let us connect and then offer this service. Dear my beloved divine, repeat if it's comfortable, dear my beloved divine creator,
My name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. I wish to sincerely, from my heart, apologize. My lack of total gold, unconditional universal service. My lack of gratitude, obedience to the oneness and the universal laws. My lack of loyalty and devotion to my soul following you in this journey. Please forgive me. Please bless me to further align and be a total gold, unconditional universal servant. I am very grateful. Thank you. Continue. Dear all souls in all time, if I or my ancestors have offered any unpleasant service, if we have ever offered unpleasant thoughts, words, or actions to you, I sincerely from my heart and soul apologize. I ask most sincerely for your unconditional forgiveness. Regardless of receiving your unconditional forgiveness, I wish to offer all souls in all time my unconditional forgiveness. I release everyone unconditionally of any spiritual debt they may have with me. All those who have spoken to me, acted towards me, or offered unpleasant thoughts, words, or actions, I release you now of your spiritual debt to me. And if I have ever harmed you in any time, please forgive me. Now we connect with the song of love, peace, and harmony. Dear the song of love, peace, and harmony, I love you, honor you, respect you. As I chant you, can you please offer service specifically for those souls that have the condition of and then state the condition you want to chant for? Again, if you are asking for depression, chant for others with depression. Financial blockages, chant for others with financial blockages. So state that now. I ask you to offer this blessing as appropriate to all of those souls that are suffering in this area. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so now we will chant. When we close our eyes, we will chant from our heart with all of our heart and soul to serve all of those out there. There could be a hundred thousand, could be a million people suffering that same thing that you are, but you are now serving them unconditionally with the greatest love. Okay? So let us chant, visualizing those souls receiving the benefit. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Le la li lu la Oh I wo shin her ling Oh I to run ran Wang li hing rung her mu shur shang Shang I ping on a say Shang I ping on a say I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together Love, peace and harmony love peace and harmony la lu la li lu la lu la la li lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo 
washing our lean. Oh, eyes run, run, lay. One lean rung, her musher shung. Shung I ping on a sing. Shung I ping on a sing. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Send your greatest love. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Why wash in her ling? Why to run, run, lay? Wrong ling, wrong her musher shung. Shung I ping on her say. Shung I ping on her say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Why wash in her ling? Why to run, run, lay? Wang ling rung a musher shung. Shung I ping on a say. Shung I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Ever love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Last round. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula. La li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la. Why wash in her ling? Why run run lay? Wang Ling Rong Her Musher Shong 
，相爱平安的谢，相爱平安的谢。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Keep your eyes closed. Repeat after me, dear all souls, in all time. I am so grateful to chant love, peace, and harmony to serve you. If I have harmed any souls. For the condition I was chanting for, I most humbly, most sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize. I recognize now that the suffering in my life could very easily be because I have brought this same suffering upon others in times that I do not remember. I ask your unconditional forgiveness, and I offer. My unconditional forgiveness to all of the souls that may have brought this suffering to me. I ask that all souls move forward in love, peace, and harmony. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How, how, how. And so now, I ask you to share. What was the experience like for you if you are new, and or even the the veterans?、Uh, what did you request, and have you noticed any difference from the point of request to now? If you had a pain, a measurable pain, what was it before? What is the value of it now? Was it a ten before, and it's a five now? In other words, what I want you to pay attention to is when we chant for others, we are not chanting for ourselves, but there is a natural Boomerang effect in the universe. It's the natural law, and that's that same law that came through in the flow on obedience. That when we serve unconditionally as part of the natural universal law, heaven watches, heaven records. Virtue is offered not only by heaven but by those souls we are serving, and it comes to us and it showers upon us, and it could release some of your blockages. This is just a real-world example if you measure it on the physical level. It happens regardless on the emotional, mental levels as well. It happens on the spiritual levels as well. So, being a total gold servant is about recognizing the nature of our soul in alignment to、uh, humanity, in alignment to our source. Deborah says she feels her burdens was released from a six now down to a two. Julia Samaistra, welcome, Julia. She's been suffering from depression in the last month. She didn't feel anything until the last sentence I spoke, and then she's crying because of the pain that she may have caused others. Ah, congratulations for that awakening, Julia. <clears throat> There are many that are on this path of awakening, and it's a constant path. The more we recognize our suffering is never accidental, our suffering always has a root, and when we chant to serve others, they have a similar root. That is unconditional service. The benefits are far greater than just our topical comprehension. And so Kate says a bit emotional. She chanted for those that chose to hate, on those that are fighting for equal rights for human beings. Wow. Yeah, it's a big one to chant for. Welcome, Adriana, and Kathy. Still crying a little bit better now. She was seeing all the suffering in the world and not feeling all the suffering now. Good. So it's a huge practice. This is not a small practice. Being a total gold, unconditional, universal servant literally means choosing selflessness 
over selfishness. It is a marathon, not a race. It is a constant moment to moment agreement. It is a, a constant recognition when we're in our suffering that there is a solution to get out of it by chanting to serve others. Because even if it only brings you 10 minutes of temporary sanity, that's 10 more minutes with your head above water than your head below water. And so why not do it so your head remains above water, a half hour, an hour, two hours? Because the more you do it, the more your head is above water. And the more you're above water, that means that you are not creating more karma. That means that you are creating good virtue. That means that you are aligning to your soul, your source, and you are being a total gold, unconditional, universal servant. It means you're following the path of natural universal law. So this is the teaching. I thank all of you for coming. I'm very grateful for your unconditional universal service in coming. Part of that is sharing this with others. It could very, uh, it could could make a difference in somebody's life, and it could save their life. That's a possibility. You never know. So uh, thank you for doing that service as well. I will be back on Monday, <coughs> and on Monday I believe I'm going to. To do something very special I will probably yeah I'll, I'll do something very special I'll maybe do a little advertising for it this weekend uh, the following week Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday so basically for almost two weeks I will be gone I will be in Toronto with my spiritual teacher Master Shaw uh, yes I know I just came back from a retreat but I don't get to see him very often so I'm gonna go up to Toronto and uh, I will be out uh, at that time but on Monday, I will be offering uh, very special blessings, so don't miss that one. I'll go ahead and do a special video calling, so we should be quite busy on Monday. Um, so I look forward to serving you then. So until then, enjoy your weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. All the beings of light, divine Tao source, uh, angels, healing angels, archangels, Jesus, Mother Mary, Buddha, all the beings of light have come. We love you and respect you. I bow down to you. I thank you for your service and we invite you to respectfully return. Thank you everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.